just briefly talk to you guys about your visions and your dreams, okay? Um, are you trusting them? Are you believing in them? Are you, do you have something on your heart that is really powerful and are you doing anything about it? Because let me give you a story. There's this gentleman a long, long time ago who wanted to prove that the world was not flat. And he requested boat, a boat and people to travel with him across the ocean to prove because he had a vision that it wasn't flat. Who was this man? This was Columbus. So you guys, he had a vision. He had a dream. He had this inner knowing that the world was not flat and that if he just sailed and trusted this inner vision that he would be proven right. And what is that? That's faith. That's faith in yourself. He could have been held back by fear. He could have been held back by doubt and not trusting himself. But that inner vision and that inner fuel was the catalyst. One man's vision, one man's dream to prove that the world was not flat. His belief in himself was the catalyst that created the United States of America. One man. We don't give that power. We don't even give that credit, you know? So think about your own visions, your own dreams, your own ideas. And are you believing in them? Are you trusting in them? Do you have faith? that the seed, this little mustard seed that is planted in your heart is going to create what you vision it to do. You know, the Bible says you have to have faith the size of a mustard seed and you can create anything you want. You can have anything you want. You can, you can dream and it can be created. So in, within that little mustard seed, it's so tiny, but it has to crack has to crack open and it knows, this little seed knows what it is going to become. It knows. So within this little tiny itty bitty seed, it knows what it's gonna become. So your visions, your dreams that are fueled, behind that, behind that, what are they fueled by? Do you know? Does anybody know? I know. It's fueled by God. It's fueled by the universe. It's fueled by that. So what God sets into motion within you, what God sets into motion within Columbus came to fruition. It will come to fruition. You have to know it in your heart. And when you know it in your heart and you start having faith and you start taking actions towards this thing, what God sets into motion, nothing can stop. Nothing. Nothing at all. And I like to call God her. <laughs> so what God sets in, sets her hand to, it must triumph. It must. So I want you, I just want to encourage you today to really honor and trust your visions. Honor them because they're in you for a reason and there's God that is fueling that. So trust yourself, trust in it, and make this a great day. Make your faith in your vision so powerful that every day you water it and every day you see little um, divine synchronicities that help you to know you're on the right path. And even there's going to be days when you're not even going to have that and you have to just keep that faith. You have to just keep trusting in your vision. So I hope that this message encourages you today because you are no different than Columbus was. If you have a vision, you have a dream on your heart, and you know it inside and you're like, I have to get this out. And if you have an idea that you can create a better world, do it. Stop waiting. It's not, it's not over. It wasn't over when the Bible was created and, and written and done. It's not over. You have the potential to create massive shifts in this world and to do massive greatness. So I hope that you will take this today and let this be your inspiration to move you forward. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. Have a great day.
拜。